know it's a girl by a lap party <laughs> so guys welcome back welcome back if you're new to my channel welcome thank you for joining us please 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 subscribe because i've discovered that only like 20 percent of you guys subscribe to my channel please subscribe it is free to subscribe really and your subscription you're watching my videos helps this channel grow and it would also help me give you more info on your balloon business i don't know everything but i think what i share would help anyone coming into the business for new people trying to like break through in the balloon business subscribe to this channel trust me you would get a lot you can send me emails you can ask me questions i'm always there to help you so subscribe and yeah click the notification button so welcome today so today we're doing a hot air balloon you know the hot air where the balloon the teddy bear is holding the balloon into up and all of that okay so we know that it's done in various style and i've got like three styles i'm going to be sharing with you guys so today we're doing the first style and the first style is the one that goes on the wall and then the, the the teddy is on the floor on the other side so it's like it's slanting so guys it's, you can see i've got this blue stuff on my wall so this is called painter's tape this is it it's called painter's tape um i read somewhere that it protects the wall you know for when you want to like put stuff on it i've not tried it before today's my first time of trying it but trying it today would help me prove if it's really good and then we can start using it in our designs you know when we want to do stuff on the wall you know when you put your command books on on the wall it damages the wall and all of that so i'm going to be using this to protect my wall basically it's called painter's tape i'm going to put the link for this in the description you can find it in my amazon store um and i'm going to be using command books so this is the command books i use it's um it's got 20 in a pack you would find it in my amazon store too uh so what i'm gonna be since the it's hot air we're doing i placed the tape in like in in different spots let me just show you what i've done with the tapes because to be honest i was going to show you how i was placing the tape but apparently my camera wasn't rolling so i had to and i'd already put the tape on already anyway um so this is the tape you just put it on so I put it on different spots at the end of the video we're going to take it off together to see if it damaged the wall or not like i said i've not tried it before so we're going to see i'm going to put my command hooks on now so this is my command hook um you need the heavy one the the this one is it's a, i think it will take like uh 2 kg or 2.5 kg weight or so uh so i'm going to put the tape so this is the tape for the command hook. So one side is for the wall and one side is for, I think one side is for whatever you're gonna, yeah, one side is for the hook and one side is to come out, okay? So I put the hook on. So here we go. And the good thing about command, um, what's it called is command hooks. I, I think I've placed, this is meant to be inside, I think. So when you want to take it off, this is what we pull off, I think. So let's see. I'm going to put this on here, All right? I'm going to do the same thing for here and here and here. And then I'm going to tie my 260 Q. I'm going to let it sit for a while. So I'm going to tie my 260 Q on here. Yeah, like so. It's not sitting yet, so I'm going to leave it. Well, I put, just to show you guys what's going to happen. So I'm going to put another one here, here, here in a bit. Um, so the balloons I'm using today is I'm using I'm using Coco Brown by Top Text. I'm using Peach in White. I'm using Pink. That is Baby Pink, just standard pink. Sorry, in White. And then I'm using sand stuffed with bell bell vanilla. That's the, those are the colors I'm using. And this for, for this one, I'm just using like like six or seven of it. For the pink, I'm using 21 balloons. For the cocoa brown, I'm using um, I think I'm using fifth. Yeah, sorry, I'm using 12 of the cocoa brown. And for the peach in white, I'm using 15, 11 inches. So 15. That's 30. 
30 for the because it's double stuffed, isn't it? The pink 21 that is 42. For the um, cocoa brown, it's not double stuffed, so it's just 12. And for the vanilla and um, sand, I'm using um, a total of 14 because it's double stuffed. And then I've got the five inches, I've got some five inches too. I'm going to be showing you for the five inches. I know a lot of people will say, oh, I double stuffed my balloon and I'm trying to like inflate it with an electric inflator. It's not inflating. If you don't have an inflator like the Lagenda or the um, the premium, I, 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 I can't remember what the name is now. It's gone off my head. Um, the automatic sizing balloon, not the um, not the the one I have, not the, um, the the Conwin one. The other brand, it's premium brand, but I've forgotten what the actual machine is called. Those ones would help you inflate five inches or a Lagenda, a Lagenda that is used for. Um, 260 Q balloons. I'm gonna try and put one in my Amazon store so you can get it. It's like not up to 200 pounds. It's great for 260 Qs. It's great for five inches. I'm gonna get one myself to once business picks, picks up again. So those are the ones that are good for inflating five inches. If you're trying to inflate five inches and it's not inflating. I have mastered using my hand pump, the Qualitex brand hand pump, to inflate my five inches and I inflate my five inches within a short period. Um, you just need to master it because I've done it for so long so I'm used to it um, so I don't have a big teddy bear I'm going to be using this foil balloon as my teddy bear today so guys let's inflate our balloons remember subscribe to my channel please so guys let's get inflating so I'm inflating my balloons as you can see I am inflating them into random sizes um, for this ones I would suggest you inflate them into a mix of seven inches and five inches um, six inches and four inches they are all 11 inches balloons and remember I mentioned at the beginning of the video that the colors I'm using are double stuffed so this actual one I'm inflating is peach in white peach in white and the other color is um, cocoa brown by tough text and then I have pink in white and then I have um, Sempertex sand stuffed with vanilla from Belba. But vanilla from Belba, that's the, the other color. And then I, I have, oh yeah, so that's just the four colors I have, guys. So remember, you inflate them into random sizes especially because this is like it's not like a, a garland garland so you don't want the balloons to be too big you can see i am pressing down on it though i have a couple of big ones but it's not a lot my big ones will be about maybe like six or thereabout um i have more of um the six inches and four inches if you get what i mean um so also at the beginning of the video, I mentioned the amount of balloons I used in each um, bunch. So once you inflate two balloons, that is a duplet. Then you wrap it, the two sets together, you make a cord. So I am wrapping them into cords. You can see from the video. Guys, for the list of um, supplies for where I buy my balloons from in the UK, where you can buy balloons from in the US, check description, please. All information you need is in the description. If it's not there, I would definitely be, have answered it in the comment section. This is so that when you ask a question that has already been answered and I'm not, you know, you know, on time to like respond to you, you'll get your answers from the comment or in the description. For the five inches, you would need your hand pump to inflate it. Five inches, you cannot inflate with your electric inflator. You can only inflate it with a Lagenda. I think I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. Now, for the base of the balloon, I am using 16 inches. Um, I think I, uh, the 16 inches, I had like uh, a set of, I think, 16. And then I had... That's for the pearl white and then I had standard white. I wanted the, the, the base to have like a texture of two different types of balloons. So the pearl white and then the standard whites. Most of the balloons I used for the 
um, the bottom of the design are 16 inches. Reason is um, because I want the, you know, I want to quickly fill out. You know, I always mention, you know, my balloon garland designs that I always want to fill out quickly. So next, guys, I'm back to the wall again. So you can see I am using the wall hook here. I was about to start off the, you know, the top part design, you know, attaching the balloons to the wall. And I discovered that the command works was not staying on the um, painter's tape. I don't know if it's the painter's tape that is not strong enough. I'm not sure. But guys, at the end of the video, you would hear my feedback on everything I used for the wall and how everything went on the issues i had and the problems please watch this video till the end you would get all that information at the end of the video so as you can see because um I, i'm trying to like form like a, a hot air kind of shape so you can see i am taking my balloons round kind of so and i'm putting them on the wall in clusters of four you can see once again i've taken up the command hook for the bottom again because i felt it wasn't you know it wasn't staying on the painter's tape so i've replaced it with a wall hook again then i wrapped my 260q around the wall hook so for the clusters because we we don't I didn't want to I didn't want to create like a mix of all the balloons it looks better when you like section each color like I am doing here can you see and so also another thing I, I tend to do is I tend to think about the colors I put next to each other I always want to make sure the color I put next to each color complements the first color so you can see I did pink and then the cocoa brown then the blush then the sand I did this because I wanted the, the 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 colors to like make a statement on its own per section. I hope you understand what I've just said. Um, so that's what I've done with you know creating each section. Um, now I finish off with the sand. So the sand is leaning into the pink, and each section I I, I wrap with 260Q to create the circle. So the blush again, I'm going to be using it to fill out, you know, the last spot. Now guys, I struggled a lot with this um, wall thing. And the reason is because of the, the hooks and what I used, but you'll find that out at the end of the video. Just watch it till the end, you find out what my struggles you'll be able to see what happened at the end so just use keep using 260q to link the balloons because we know we're we're forming like a circle not circle circle not a perfect circle but like sort of like an oval kind of shape obviously since it's like a hot hair balloon So you can see I'm using the 260Q to link everything together to form. And the funny thing, guys, I I didn't even know what this was looking at. I, because I was close to it, I was thinking, oh, this is not looking like the shape I want it to be. I, I kept on, you know, worrying and all of that. Um, not until I stepped back from the whole thing before I was able to, like, see how, you know, the uh, the, the, the shape was okay for me. So also I had more of the pink balloons. So obviously the, the pink side had more balloons. So for this blush bit, all I needed to do was just push it into that space to fill it out and wrap it around the other balloon. 
So another tip for you guys, you could decide to like do your garland on the ground, you know, and then make it into a circle shape on the ground. Then you can hang it afterwards or you can do it on the wall like I've done here. I'm, I think I'm going to try that um, style the next time I do this for you guys, this um, alter kind of design. I'm going to try and use another set of colors and see what, you know, what, what result I get at the end. So right now I'm still not sure of the way, you know, the shape is, but I'm still carrying on. I'm not worried. I'm not panicking. I've, uh, next thing for me to do is to add my five inches balloon to fill out the gaps. So you can see here, it's looking like the balloons is moving. This is because of what I used to hang the balloons. Now it's a bit steady. So I put in the last um, set of 11 inches. You can see I am able to like push back the balloons without stress. So don't worry about, you know, pushing back, putting things in, in place. Everything will fall into shape. Just be patient. Do not panic. And then I start adding the five inches again. So for the five inches, I am not using a 260 Q to tie it in. I am using the neck of the balloons that were there. And also the 260 cues I used to link the balloons. I left like the extension in there. So I'm just picking up the extension and wrapping it around the five inches balloon, basically. And so also guys, always remember to, you know, to not let any color bleed into another section. If it's going to bleed into the other section, make sure it looks right. I hope you understand what I mean by bleeding into. If you don't understand, ask me in the comment section and I'll explain better as much as I can. So for this particular cocoa balloon, I didn't have any way. I wasn't sure where to put it. So I left it at that spot for the main time. So I used the 260Q to link that one, that particular one in because I didn't have um, anywhere to hang it. I didn't have anything to attach it to, basically. Can you see? All this moving around kept on happening because of my base. And when I mean my base, what I used to hang the balloon on the wall. Can you see how everything is coming together? So here I am pushing the balloons together and letting it like sit into each other. Um, next I move on to the bottom part. So this, for the 16 inches, I took one set, you know, one quad that is 16 inches wrapped with 11 inches. And I tied it, you know, the, the quads in two places, tied it onto a 260 Q. And then the last one, which is the um, 16 inches standard white, 16 inches with um, 11 inches, I tied the water weight onto it. And then the two I wrapped into the, you know, the single one. 
and then I wrapped the you know the remaining 11 inches inflated into random sizes into the big balloon just to fill out the gaps and the spaces you could also add five inches to the base if you choose it depends on your preference or you you know your desired look i'd love to try out this design on a backdrop also because um I, I, i'm interested in seeing what it's going to look like on a backdrop and i'm going to be doing that i'm going to be trying that out on a backdrop actually once i'm able to um so this teddy bear i've inflated the teddy bear is from anagram and i think it's um like 34 inches or so i didn't even know if it was going to work but actually i loved the look because instead of having an actual teddy bear um which is kind of like pricey you could just use the swan and you know you dispose of it afterwards or if you go back to get your balloons from the clients you can just um take it home and deflate it and reuse it if you didn't know you could re re reuse foil balloons yes you can reuse foil balloons so my teddy bear matches everything and i'm so 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 excited and happy about this and next thing i do is to like put my ribbon to create the effect of a floating teddy so i wrap the ribbon into the five inches and then you could either like glue with you glue dash to the teddy bear's hand or you tie i tied it on here after i placed the ribbon on random space you know spaces on the main design And then I just bring everything together, all the ribbon that I've tied into the main design. I tied it. Can you see I'm tying? And then I taped on. You see? Easy peasy, guys. And then I go back to the top balloon. I try and like push it in together i was so 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 excited about this design and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video with me please watch the end um my info that i left at the end of this video you it would help you a great deal on you know um the the tape and all of that thank you guys it's isn't it beautiful let me know in the comment section guys and tell me if you would like to see me do this in other colors. Suggest so colors. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I'd love to read. All right. Bye.
something I can put in the middle that this will stay on without peeling off the paint. So that's what I'm, I'm going to like experiment again. Or maybe the paint has paint, because the paint has paint didn't peel off my wall. So maybe I need to get a stronger painters, you know, painters paint or something. The command books, oops, did not stay on it. But this part has not been peeled off, so let's see. Oh yeah, it still peeled it. See? It peeled it bad, deep in, into the pasta. So, um, yeah. So it peeled off the, the spot where... Uh, so what I'm going to try next time is, I'm going to try, because I'm peeling it off. Because this middle, this part here, is the strong point, and that's where the fuss goes on and peels off the paint. So what I'm going to try next time is I'm going to cover up that spot, this middle spot, and then still use this on the on the wall and see what happens. So that's that's going to be my next um, my next try out. Let's see if this one was peeled off. So you see. Only the spots, can you see? Because I put the paint as paint in, paint in the middle. So maybe what I need to do is put the, the paint as um, tape on here. This middle, because that's where the, the heavy part of the, um, the hook is. Put it on the middle. In fact, maybe double it up or something. Then this part, because I noticed that this part is not really pulling off the paint. So we're going to try it again. Can you see that it's messed up my wall? It's messed it up here, it's messed it up here. So it's not a safe thing, but, but the paint has trained, came off nicely. So what we need to figure out is the protector for the wall itself first, then the hook on, on it. Anyway guys, thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you gain, gained a lot of knowledge from this video and I'll see you same time next week. Remember to subscribe guys. Please, please subscribe and click the notification button. Bye.